out of the very many very talented chefs in Dubai, I'm right now with one of the most wanted and one of the most respected chefs, Chef Uwe. Chef Uwe, welcome to Eating Out. Welcome to Taste of Dubai. Thank you very much, Chef. And Chef Uwe has just come out with his book. It's called Chef at Home by Uwe. Chef, I know this book is not out in the market. You want to tell us a little bit about this book? Yeah, well, actually, it's a book which is which is made for especially for this region. Okay. And uh, it's uh, all the ingredients which are in the recipes are available in the widely in the market here. So it's not unlike what a lot of books says you find ingredients which you can't find here. So here, everything what is in there is available. Everything, all the recipes are pretty simple. It's made for anyone uh, to repeat it at home. Okay. And all the recipes are actually working. And not what a, what sort of recipes are this? Uh, uh, it's all uh, basically traditional European recipes. So obvious from German. I have a lot, quite a few recipes from from my grand, from my mother, my grandmother, in there. Um, Spanish, Italian, English, French. Okay. So a mix of, of European, but uh, cooked in the, the actually the traditional recipes, but cooked a little bit in a more modern way, a little bit lighter. And the presentation is it, done the way you would do it in a restaurant. So they look a little bit more appetizing than like you would do it in a, a big bowl at, at home. So right. a few tips how it's, how it's presented a little bit nicer. And tell us a little bit about the book. How, how have you framed it, divided it into various yeah, it's, segments? Uh, it's divided in 12 segments. It uh, starts with, uh, with cold canapes, so basically like uh, just cocktail pass around, so it's the beginning of saving it, and now we finish with desserts. Okay. Um, in between, we have chicken dishes, lamb, lamb dishes, rice, potatoes, appetizers. So 12 categories with 10 recipes each. Now it's time to make a dash for the school. I'm not a performance seal, so <laughs> quiet. Uh, you might not be thinking this at the end of this, but we should be doing a seared chicken breast with an Indian pumpkin pickle. So first thing what I want you to do is fire up your stove. This okay, on, next, on, and you're going to get one on. of these. This is a butternut squash, all right? You place the knife on here and you push down and away from you. That's how you slice things. You don't slice it towards you. So you put it down and away. Down and away. We want four slices. OK, what we're going to do is going to do dice. So you stir the knife and do exactly the same thing. Go that way. And then turn these around and do that way. That is perfect dice. Right, next bit. The chicken. When we're going to create what we call a payard, OK? This is how to make a payard. Hand, top of the chicken. Straight and level. And slice it in half, but in one away. cut. Make it cuts bowl. through just enough to then open out the chicken, and it's what we call a payard. OK, we've got there. Next, you've got some cling film. Then we're going to take some oil. So you've got some oil in your pot. I've got a bottle, but you've got pots, but that's why I haven't got a pot of oil. Take a little bit of oil. That's take your payard. Place that on top. Take the cling film, place it over the top. We're just going to lightly tap it so it's all the same thickness. We're nearly there. Then you're going to get some seasoning. Put a pinch of salt on the top. Yes, open it. And a little bit of pepper. You're going to season it with something. Then you take the chicken, it's going to place it's onto nice. our griddle like that. And it's going to cook. Bit of oil. Right, next, really. fenugreek seeds. You're going to then take them, take your rolling pin and crush them. So you want to crush them to get the flavour out. The fenugreek seeds go into the pan with the oil. These are the... the butternut squash goes in. They have we no want power a sprinkle here. of sugar. Next, you're going to grab your chilli powder and some chilli. Of your chopped chilli. A good pinch of turmeric. Right, now at the moment, your squash should start to caramelise a little bit. You're going to take some of these black onion seeds, which are these yeah. things. Amazing. This is what you have normally on your naan yeah. bread. You're going to place those. So once your pumpkin is cooked, like mine, in we go with the mango chutney. Give that a quick stir. Okay. We're then going to put some salt no, and pepper in it. And then your little bit of squash over the top of your chicken. A little drizzle of oil. Hey. 
this one, there you go. While you were taking a look at the cookery school, I was taking a look at the restaurants here. There are so many options, each better than the other, that it's left me very confused. But that's not how I'm going to leave you. I'm going to tell you exactly what you can expect after the break. Coming up right next, my very good friend Vinit Bhatia teaches you how to make some Indian food with a twist.